DPP affects cell fate by binding receptors and sending a signal intracellularly to affect transcription. If DPP is produced but not released, it doesn't have access to receptors and therefore cannot perform its roles. This technique makes it possible to visualize DPP release, enabling researchers to examine which genetic and environmental factors change DPP release dynamics. The BMP signaling pathway is conserved from flies to humans. So we expect that the mechanism that dictates DPP release will also be relevant for human development and regeneration. Begin by crossing 30 to 40 virgin female DPP GAL4 flies with 10 to 15 male UAS DPP GFP flies. Encourage egg laying by adding a small amount of yeast paste to a fresh vial of food. To collect the eggs, Flip the crossed flies into the vial and allow them to lay for three to four hours before removing them. Keep the egg collection vials at 25 degrees Celsius for approximately 144 hours until the larvae are at the third instar stage. Then select the appropriate larvae for dissection. First, choose larvae that are non-TB, which will be normal length rather than short and fat. To select the DPP GFP expressing larvae, view them under a fluorescent stereo microscope. All non TB larvae will have some fluorescence, but the GFP is restricted to the wing discs and is less bright on the DPP GFP larvae. Prepare modified HL3 media according to manuscript directions.